Oh my god. I just got the call that my sofa is going to be delivered on Thursday. Uh, uh, I was actually planning on going into the office for the first time on Thursday, but I can't do that. I have to receive my couch, so. So sad, but there's always next week, but I'm so excited. I was just talking about how I'm gonna probably wanna play around with the layout and stuff, but I have to wait till the couch gets here. And that was <laughs> All right, see you when it gets here. <laughs> oh my God, so the couch just came and it is low. It is a low boy. Um, but I'm not mad at it. It's literally hot. Like the top part of this is at the high, it's like mid thigh point. You could probably see it better once I like unpack it and stuff, but I'm excited. I have to unpack it and see like how dirty it is or isn't and all that stuff, but it's freaking here. <laughs> Saturday. It is Saturday afternoon. I spent most of the morning rearranging my space and I just wanted to pick up the camera and show you. I'm trying to figure out what exactly is a good um, configuration with the space that I have and just sort of like am accepting some ideas. But um, one thing that I saw that was like pretty common in studios is like putting the couch in front of the bed and then having the TV there. So I thought I would try it. This is what it looks like now. Honestly, I'm really enjoying it, even though it's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's not that much space. It's actually an, enough space for me to like walk around the bed and um, just relax on the couch. It doesn't feel too cluttered. I sort of like being closer to the television. Um, and I like it so far. I just don't really know how things are going to be like if I get a, to a coffee table or should I not get a coffee table or like any of that stuff. But I really enjoy that. So now one thing that I am trying to figure out, don't look at this desk. It is hardly filthy. So I need to clean that desk off. But you'll see that I like added my mirror to this space. Um, and... I have so much more floor space to probably put a table um, or maybe like a large like wall unit, not large, but a big enough wall unit. I'm so accustomed to having a laptop or having a desk facing the wall that I wanted to try a desk situation that was like outward and I was sort of looking out into the space and I can sort of create like a nice little office nook area. Um, so that's what I did with that. And I did not intend on having a dining room table. That's why I was like so open to having a coffee table. But with this configuration, I have a lot more space to have a dining room table and it's nice because it's like a space dedicated for like consuming my meals or even doing like other like table based activities that I wouldn't have to do with in like on a coffee table. Um, so yeah, lots to think about, but this is, I'm going to live with this for a week and see how I like it. I like it so far. I sort of like being close to the, closer to the window um, when sitting on the couch. Tell me what you think. Should I move it back to the way it was? Yeah, we'll see. Let me know what you think. 
happy Sunday. Hey, today is a really beautiful day. I had all these plans <laughs> um, to do things like with my mom, um, but that ended up completely falling through. And now I'm just sort of like getting reset for the week. But I wanted to sit down because I think I like accumulated enough homeware and home decor uh, items to sort of show what I have and sort of talk through what I plan to do. There are not too many. Um, so I just wanted to showcase a bit of that, a bit of that stuff. Starting with the thing that I'm sitting on. So my couch came like like a week ago. Um, it is the Floyd sectional couch in off-white shade. Um, it's so comfortable and so soft. It is lower. Um, and I've just really been enjoying it. I've just really been enjoying it over the last week and sort of being very, very like particular with it. This is my first large purchase that I've ever made. Um, and I'm really like proud of it and I don't want it to get like it's off white. So I wanna be, I wanna be very careful with it but also like live a little you know um it is there's just like a lot of different reviews about the sectional so far and i think a lot of the negativity surrounding everything has a lot to do with the pandemic and things that are like out of people's control um so yeah i think i took i took a, a gamble and so far i'm really happy with how things have been um I'm, I'm really loving the couch and loving it in my space i think if it's it, if it's really well and again it's comfortable if you want like a more dedicated like review of the sofa let me know um but yeah so far it's only been a week i like it next is this picture i got like facebook marketplace has been has like sort of had me in chokehold. There's a lot of great things on there. Um, like I mentioned in the previous vlog, I got my TV from there. I got my TV stand from there, not my TV. I got my TV stand from Facebook Marketplace. That's been great. It holds a TV, it doesn't do much, but it's been great. Um, I also got this vintage uh, ceramic pitcher that was just like, so beautifully like i don't know it just really stood out to me it's very like mid-century modern um i've been interested in getting like pictures like now if you were to ask me joanna where are you gonna put in this where are you gonna put it i don't know but i just felt like it spoke to me when i saw it um i was just i'll probably just use it for you know iced teas and orange juice um and just sort of like having a nice meal yeah but i think it's really beautiful it's only like 10 inches it's perfect i really needed small plates so the other day when i was out i went to fish's eddy um and searched for some small plates if you don't know fish's eddy is this plate store pretty much uh and they have a bunch of like vintage plates in all these different styles I got these small plates from like the gold section that actually was 30% off and I just needed like a small plate to have like smaller items on so my plates are so large and low so sometimes things like fall off of them <laughs> if I'm not too careful and sometimes it's just it's not necessary for me to have such a large plate for like cut up oranges you know so i just thought having two cute like royal blue they feel very fancy would be great so the first weekend that i came up here to look at the apartment i saw the black market vintage and really fell in love with this sculpture i really love the movement in this sculpture it's like a yoga pose or some beautiful like dance movement um and I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I ended up getting this. I'm not really sure I'm going to display it yet, but like, 
like how do you not get this it's it's really beautiful so i picked this up and then yesterday i went again because i had a vision in mind um i wanted to get some vintage magazines to display so i got two jet magazines one is of like soul food if you have not seen the i got in groovy check it out um one is with like the soul food cover and the other is of like ashford and simpson i really wanted to get just like some covers that spoke to black culture and i think these do it i used to always and these are like from 79 and 1997 yeah and then i also got essence magazine it's like this is like a fifth anniversary issue um and it just sort of is beautiful i think it speaks to black womanhood and essence is such an iconic magazine and historical magazine in black history so i wanted to have something that was like pretty special um and this was like from an issue in 1975 so that's really cool and next i wanted to get next i saw this like ebony magazine i had no idea ebony magazines were so huge but this is pretty big um and speaking of big i got it because the text says fashions for the beautiful big woman and i'm like hey that's me so i ended up getting it i think it will just look really nice so my idea is to just i have these acrylic um i have these acrylic ledge panels so i wanted to just put these up and then maybe have and sort of just display the magazines in this way i don't know i feel like that would be really nice so that's why it's been important for me to figure out what the layout of the space is going to be so then i can start pinpointing where exactly i plan to have all of these awesome vintage magazines displayed other thing that i got from black market vintage is this huge um i think it's like a hand woven basket weave and it's flat um i just thought that this would be really cool to put like on the coffee table or even on the couch because i don't have a coffee table yet um even on the couch or like on the bed to like have have my plate on it or have like a cup on it or something so that i don't mess up this very expensive couch so I just thought that that would be really nice to have. Um, and I, I wanted to incorporate some, I, I needed some like texture in here and something round. <laughs> so I thought that would be really nice. The next thing I have is this Carrie Mae Weems poster. It's a poster that includes Carrie Mae Weems like photo from her iconic uh, kitchen table series, I think this was called um it's very hard to find like the book that has the photographs of the series but uh i think she re she recently had an exhibit at the frankel gallery in san francisco and they had a poster uh, of this print of this photograph so and i also credit my boyfriend <laughs> for telling me about this because um these are very hard to like come by and have so uh, I wanted to get this. I think I'm going to put it in the kitchen. I just need to find a frame for it. Uh, and the last thing I have is very practical. Some potting, some indoor potting mix and a new pot because I am not a very good plant mother and currently my snake plant is it's toppled over in its pot it's dying but it's not dead um so when i was out with my mom yesterday she sort of encouraged me to get this stuff um to repot it she was supposed to help me repot it um today but couldn't so i have to figure out how to do that on my own I'm sure it's not going to be hard. Yeah, it's just one of those things you put off doing for such a long time that will probably take you like 30 minutes, if that, 
It's a small plant. Let me show it to you. This is the plant. Um. Yeah, I need to. I need to get it together. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a good plant mom, but I have what I need. I'm going to repot it. I'm gonna try to revive it, and next thing you know, maybe in six months to a year. It'll be thriving. Maybe I should name it too so I feel like a connection to it. Because right now I'm like, ugh, it's my snake plant that's dead. Anyways, okay, so this is like the actual last thing. Um, I saw this girl that I follow. Her name is Freesia Park. I watched her videos and I saw that she still sent this. Um, really beautiful incense holder. I'm like dusting off the ash from the incense. Um, and it's gorgeous it's like this gorgeous like bronzed color that has such a beautiful shape i think the like owners said that it's like meant to resemble mountains on the side i just thought that was really beautiful and i love the shape of it and i love that it's not wood it feels elevated and I really like the like color of it as well so far I've been using it I've been loving it and pretty much it <laughs> um so yeah I am going to end out this vlog thanks so much for watching um if you like what you see subscribe definitely like the video and share it with your friends and I will see you next time I hope that you have a great rest of the week um, and I'll see you later. Bye. She says she the one, I bet she thinks she is. Sand don't have no trust, I don't know where you been. I need a break.